All right, man. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Sashi Booty. It's Sashi been Booty. a long time, man. I know, man. It's been like two months. Yeah. You're too yeah. busy with your girlfriend. I've got so many things going yeah. on. Um, so, I mean, I already told you yeah, yeah. a little earlier today, but um, I'm getting married. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Yeah. Um, I, I have, I've hit a stage in my life mm -hmm. where I, I'm just ready to settle down. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. One second. I just got, I just sure. realized my face is cut off. So, okay. That's okay. I'm, we're, we're not going to start over. Yeah. Go. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. really excited. Yeah. Um, I, it's a big, it's a big step, man. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I feel, I feel a little strange isn't the right word. Surprised. I think is, is more fitting mm -hmm. because um, I thought when we made this decision mm -hmm. and I've, I've had, I've had some of my friends talking to me about mm -hmm. this because you know, you, you have also chimed in on this. Like, yeah, oh, a little dude, bit. that's pretty fast. It is pretty fast. Um, and I've, some of my other friends have been like, Oh my God, like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> and um, I feel really good about this. Mm -hmm. Like it, uh, I don't, I don't feel any, um, I'm I'm not stressed and I'm not anxious mm -hmm. about this, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's kind of funny because both my family mm -hmm. and her family have been very supportive of this. Mm -hmm. So, well, you I'm know, really sometimes excited. like when you know, you know, yeah. And that's kind of, that's kind of how I was with Natsumi. I just waited for a year. That's yeah, all. but I mean, hey, you know, yeah. it's just I kind of I had the same kind of feeling, and you just got to go with it, mm. you know. But we can talk about your love life. On oh the, yeah, sure, on the sure, Austin sure. loves to talk about love <laughs> podcast. Whatever we could do that later, the Austin Love Show. But yeah, yeah. Um, today I want to talk to you about apartments because you know you guys are going to be moving in together, right? Yes. Yeah. This is true. So I want to talk today, especially about our experiences with apartments and how they've how what surprised us and how it was different from living in the states. Yeah. Yeah. So first, you want to. Are, are you okay with talking about your living situation right now? Sure. Where so what kind of a situation do you live in? So uh, I so I live in Tokyo, um, and uh, the the apartments are obviously pretty small here in Japan. Yeah. And uh, but my apartment's actually on the bigger side. It's mm -hmm. a, it's classified as a two DK. Two DK. Yeah. So what does two DK actually mean? So it means two rooms, a dining area, mm -hmm. and a kitchen. Yeah. So DK is dining yeah. and kitchen, right? Yeah. Um, and they, there's, there's one more step above that yeah. where it's a two LDK yeah. and all the L means is that there's a living room. Added yeah. In. Yeah. So it's like this one room that's kind of like a living dining kitchen or this one room is a dining kitchen situation. So yeah. I, I live in a two LDK. Yeah. It's a two LDK, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's funny how like I, when I first came to Japan and I was looking at apartments, people were like, yeah, this is one K one R one LDK. Yeah. Like, what do these letters mean? Yeah. No, <laughs> it's it's really confusing. Yeah. I completely agree. Um, and something something that uh, I noticed that I was really confused about yeah. when I first started searching for apartments here is uh, I, they show the size of the apartment. Yeah. But it's not it's not like what's really advertised. What What do you mean by so, that? So so what I mean by that is um, when I when I was going and looking at like apartments in the U.S. Um, mm -hmm with my with my friend yeah because uh, i i never i never lived alone uh in mm -hmm. an apartment uh in the u.s but um mm -hmm. w me and my friend we moved in together mm -hmm. and uh when we were going and looking at apartments the, the it was always like oh yeah this is you know you know 90 square feet or mm -hmm. you know however big our apartments are i'm just pulling yeah. that number out um and here they'll they'll still still advertise the size it'll mm -hmm. be like oh this is like 17 square meters or mm -hmm. whatever um but that's not like a really big selling point. Mm -hmm. The selling point is the letters. Yes, yeah, the room structure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because, I mean, you could get you could get a nine square meter apartment, mm -hmm. and it could be literally a square, mm -hmm. or it could be three separate rooms. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So yeah, that the just just kind of like what you're exposed to yeah. when you're looking for apartments is completely different. Yeah, well, it's funny because like so you know in the states when you're looking for apartments, right? The the in Japan they look at like one LDK or how many rooms, right? But in in yeah. America it's always like one bed, one bath, yes. or it's like two beds, one bath, or two beds, two bath, right? Yeah. Like it's funny how it's like in the states, like 
bathrooms are so central to like no, the, the you're 100 percent right i didn't even think about that yeah yeah no that's completely true yeah like it's funny someone's like yeah i live in a three bed two two bath and i'm like why why do you have to have two bathrooms it's just weird because like in japan it's like you don't have two bathrooms no it's always one bathroom there's one bathroom yeah yeah and i mean i guess if you have two floors then you'll have like another bathroom but like yeah well you have it like a toilet but they don't actually talk about that yeah as a selling point so yeah. much no it's funny you mentioned that though because yeah. like i'm thinking about my parents house yeah back in seattle mm-hmm. and there is four bathrooms four bathrooms what four bathrooms how many rooms so there's technically three rooms on the first floor okay and there's two rooms on the second floor okay. but they got the the wall was taken out to make okay. like the master bedroom bigger okay so they have one bathroom upstairs okay two bathrooms uh on the first floor for yeah. a total three and then there's one in the pool house so okay so you have a pool house we have a pool house oh man you spoiled brat that's awesome <laughs> i lived in the pool house when i kid when i was Jeez, a kid man. it was it was fun freedom <laughs> yeah wait wait so okay so so but in in the states too we have something called like half baths too so like that's not just with the shower or the bath no they were, just full, the full they were full baths full bathrooms Jeez. so so the, the 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 bathroom on each floor yeah. makes sense and then oh sorry i'm blocking the screen with my hand but uh, I know it's bathroom on each floor makes yeah. sense and one in the pool house makes sense the thing that the thing that's a little weird mm-hmm. is the fact that the first floor mm-hmm. so let me let me just explain the layout i don't know yeah yeah as we're getting a little off topic, but it's kind of yeah, fun yeah. to talk about. Um, so the first floor is we have we have a kitchen right here, mm-hmm. and we have the living room right here. There's okay. one room right here, and there's two rooms right here, okay. and then there's a bathroom, bathroom. Okay. And it's just kind of funny because so the bathrooms are on the opposite ends of the house. They're on the opposite ends, but realistically speaking, it's yeah. like they're thirty pe- feet apart. Okay. And it's it's just kind of funny that there's there's yeah. two bathrooms just so close to each other. Yeah. 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 You know, it's it's funny because it's like so. That's probably like a weird thing that a Japanese person will see when they come to a, apartments or housing in yeah. the states, right? But like for you, what was so other than the LDK kind of room situation? Yeah. Um, what was something weird for you when you were find, looking for apartments or living here? Oh, I'll tell you one more thing. Yeah. Um, so uh, there's there's a really weird mix. Well, I shouldn't say weird, but there's a really different mix of. Um, room styles okay so what i mean by that is like you'll get like a western style room and a tatami room yeah yeah. and that's another advertising point Mm -hmm. so like uh a lot of like 2dk apartments Mm -hmm. that you'll get you'll get one western one tatami room and um i know nothing about tatami maintenance yeah and it's it's like a responsibility that you have when you get a tatami yeah uh room you you have to take care of it yeah you know this stuff gets like tore up really easily yeah yeah, and also like I so I don't know if this is all um, in everywhere, but all the tatami rooms that I've been in, the Japanese rooms that I've been in, because it's it's like they call them Western rooms or Japanese rooms, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's so like all the all the Japanese tatami rooms, they don't have air conditioning. Yeah. It's so like I remember one time I was I came and visited my friend who had a he lived in a house he lived in the middle of nowhere in like on the outskirts of t- Tokyo. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, you can stay in our in our house. I'm like, great. So I stay in the tatami room in the middle of summer. Oh, God. With no air conditioning. And I died. Yeah. A couple no, times. I believe you, man. I believe you. Uh, so can you, can you help me explain tatami rooms a little bit? Well, I mean, like what exactly they are? Yeah. So, I mean, so the the way that you can think about tatami rooms yeah. right, is just basically what you see as like the cool Japanese aesthetic. Like they have yeah. the rooms that are the squares made of those tatami mats and stuff. Um, and it, they do tend to be more traditional and like they'll have um, like a closet space where you can put your futon and stuff. Yeah. But it's really basic stuff. Actually, so I know for a lot of Japanese people, tatami rooms are not selling points, actually. Like my wife, when we were looking for apartments, she's like, I don't want a tatami room really? in the house. Yeah. Why she's you- she's like, yeah, I like flooring. It's cleaner. It's easier. <laughs> there's air conditioning. It's more... Yeah just easier it's it's a it's a huge pain to clean from what i understand mm-hmm. um because they grow mold oh really and you gotta you gotta like especially during the summer you gotta like yeah make sure that the room's kind of dry and i i think maybe that's why there's no air conditioning yeah, yeah. in there um because the 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 mats will get mildew on them. yeah yeah um so, yeah so i don't know the details about that i just yeah. know that like a fresh brand new tatami room smells so nice yeah, yeah. I, 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 find them a little endearing. Like, yeah. I, 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 
I like them. Well, I, I like them too. Personally, yeah. I would love to have like in, in my ideal house that I have. Um, actually, there's a picture of it up on, on the wall right there. I have yeah. a tatami room in there. Yeah. But I, I, I have to talk with the wife and the wife is like, no, I want Western flooring. We just got to do, you know what? Your next, your next house, whenever yeah. you move, man, this, that'll be our recording area. We'll be, we'll be yeah. traditional, like sitting at the, like the knee high table. Yeah. And just like, uh, on our knees the whole time. Yeah. We'll just have like, we'll have sake and just, we'll wear the kimonos and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be great. I'll. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm going <laughs> to, so one of these days, so here's the thing that's also, um, also like really interesting for me that now I'm really thinking about is, especially when you live in Tokyo, Yeah, the place where you live is decided by the train station. Oh, very much that's so. That's nearby. Like, I, re- I remember when I first came here, I said, hey, so what town do you live in? They're like, oh, I live by Miyogadani Station. I'm like, yeah, but what town is that? Yeah. Uh, it's near Miyogadani Station. I'm like, yeah, but like, <laughs> yeah. like, what's your address? Uh, well, if you just walk up the street from Miyogadani Station. I'm like, no, yeah. but what's your address? Because, like, the address system here just doesn't make sense. So people mm. are always deciding by the train station nearby. So I actually made that mistake with my apartment. Oh, really? I always get... I always sucker myself into the okay. really far away areas. So like what where, where I will. So when I'm looking at apartments, I'm yeah. looking at what's around the mm-hmm. actual apartment. And, and like, I don't, I don't pay attention to how far the apartment is away from the train station. Yeah, yeah. So when I was looking at my current apartment, um, I saw the fact it's like, Oh man, I'm across the street from this mm-hmm. big temple. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh wow! Okay, there's a Seven Eleven like mm-hmm. a minute away from where I am. Yeah. That's great. Oh wow! There's some parks. So, like there's mm-hmm. a lot of really cool. Like there's a big supermarket. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. This is awesome. Mm-hmm. And then we move in, and it's like, oh yeah. Uh, by the way, you live 16 minutes away from the train station. Yeah. Ah, okay. So rain or shine, you got it. <laughs> got to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's funny because like for for me when I was when I first moved here, mm. um, and I didn't know the situation at all. Um, I just knew I wanted to live near Nakano Station, so I picked a place that was advertised as like a 15 minute walk, but it was more like a 20 minute yeah. walk. Yeah. And uh, getting to school in the mornings, it was it's a, really annoying. It's a chore. Yeah. It's a real chore. Um. Yeah. But yeah, it's funny how it's like. So you have like. So when you're looking for an apartment in Japan, yeah, you can pick between a map situation or you can pick from the train station. Mm. And then if you pick from the train station, you also pick. Um, how far away from the train station you want to live? Yes. Do you want to live a one minute walk, a five minute walk, a ten minute walk, a fifteen yeah. minute walk, a twenty minute walk? Yeah. Or do you want to be able to go by bus too? Like you have that option to pick. But everything, yeah. it's funny how like, like when you pick where you live, everything is centered around the train station. That's so true. And like one of the things that really surprised me was how like around the train station you will have everything, and then you just walk like f- five minutes, not even five minutes out. Yeah. And it's dead. It's only like housing and stuff. Yeah. And so like if you want to live in a quiet area, you want to live kind of far away from the station. Yeah. But like th- it's funny. Everything is so centered around the train state. Oh, it's so situation true. Here. It's so true. Um, one one other thing I noticed and uh, maybe you don't have to. I don't, I don't know what your previous ap- apartment was. Yeah. Like. Was it was it old or new? Uh, it was actually pretty new. Oh, man. So <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me talk Let's about talk this about, for a second because there is a there is a huge difference yeah. between old places and new places yeah. here. Um, so I live in an old apartment right now. My yeah, how apart- old is it? Somewhere around 40 years old. It's like 30 40. or 40. I, I don't remember exactly, but okay. it's, it's old. Yeah. It is old. And um, here in Japan, and, you know, the, some of the newer buildings are like this too, but they've, they've, they've gotten a lot better. Mm-hmm. Um, there is zero insulation. Mm-hmm. in my apartment yeah when it's cold it's really cold yeah when it's hot it's really yeah. hot and it sucks because yeah. so i have an air conditioning system in my apartment mm-hmm. and it is useless yeah it's absolutely useless i'll turn the heat on and like if i'm standing a few meters mm-hmm. from the air cone sure i get warm yeah but as soon as i like go to a different room it's just freezing and that's because yeah. the heat's just going in and then immediately getting sucked out through yeah, the dude. walls and windows i i feel so bad because like so in the states we have central heating right yeah. i so actually in so where i'm from when it comes to air conditioning with like cooling yeah. the air we actually put units in the window that yeah are cool do right? you guys have that in the 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but here it's like everything is that way. There's no central heating. Yeah. Like there's one heater per room. Yeah. But it's funny because like the the air conditioning unit is in the top corner of the room and we know heat rises, which means it doesn't really come down to get to you. So so that's never made sense to me. Yeah. Cuz logically speaking, you yeah. would think that you would want to put the heater on the floor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> So. Yeah, and like in the states, in central heating, the heating vent is it always on the, the floor. floor. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, and you have the insulation to keep it in. But like here yeah. too, man, it's like if I don't if I don't put the heater on in the winter, I'll see my breath inside this yes. room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's something I I never <laughs> understood why there's no insulation here. So, I mean, I don't know the official reason, but I've had people tell me that it's because of earthquakes. Yeah, and that like it it makes the building cheaper to produce, mm -hmm. and therefore if it gets destroyed in an earthquake, it's not as yeah. I was thinking that would make it's sense. not as bad, but I mean, I'm not I'm not an architect yeah. or a builder, so I don't know. But like, I I can't help but feel that it wouldn't it wouldn't take that well, much more effort. I mean, right? but nowadays like buildings are so much stronger to earthquakes, yeah. so like yeah. Well, so the thing the thing that I'm really surprised is uh, I never see double or triple um, paned windows. windows. Yeah, 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 right, right. And that seems like a really simple thing to do. Yeah. Um. So I'm I that that I'm very surprised yeah. just isn't a thing. It here. just goes out. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's it's funny how it's like even so for me I always feel bad about turning on the heat or turning on the air conditioning because I know that I'm experiencing about. 30% yeah. of it max and the yeah. rest of it is going out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And especially with like electricity being so expensive here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So like one thing though that was interesting. Um, so this kind of gets away from the topics of apartments, but mm. for heating situations, mm -hmm. when I went to, um, to Niigata, mm -hmm. visit Natsumi's family, yeah. I was really surprised because when I walked in, the house smelled like gas. I was like, oh. why? It's because... They use kerosene stoves. Yes, and I'm yeah. like, wow, I haven't, I've never seen one of these in my life. But they have them everywhere, especially in the Inaka in Japan. Like, sure, you know, it's funny you mentioned that because yeah. I actually have one in my apartment. Oh, you do? But I don't use it. Yeah. So I just put an IH stove on top of it, and I've just used that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny because it's it's like a heating unit, but they call it a stove because yeah. the top of it gets really hot, and you can use it as a like a yeah. water kettle heater, basically. Yeah, and. But I just remember it was so weird to me because it's like I've always experienced, you know, heating as an electric thing or maybe even gas. Right. But sure. the gas is kind of centered in central heating system. But you have like this unit that you have this volatile kerosene yeah. in and like you pour it in like they would take it into another room and pour it in because they didn't want to get the fumes yeah. in them. And then they said, like, you have to keep a door or a window or open for the beginning because yeah. otherwise you're going to get the fumes and yeah. it's not you might die. <laughs> I'm like, what? But even here, even in this area, I hear the jingle of the kerosene man coming around, yep, yep. ready to give the toll you the kerosene, right? Yeah, yeah. That guy comes over. Uh, I I don't think it's every day, but every yeah. couple of days he he drives by my apartment. Yeah. Um, because all the all of the there's no new apartments near me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they were all like really old, mm -hmm. like rundown shacks, old apartments like me, and then like across the street mm -hmm. as you get kind of get further down to. Uh, I'm trying to think what that what that big road is, um, that goes all the way to uh, the Gotanda. big road. Just say the big road. Yeah, big road. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, you you'd know it if I if I remembered the name. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, uh, once you get closer to that road, yeah. like, that's one of the, like the main vein roads of mm -hmm. uh, of Tokyo. There's like all new houses yeah. right there. Um, one thing, one positive thing. There, well, there, I have two positive things. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that Japan just straight up beats America. Yeah. On toilets yeah toilets is one of them for toilets, sure. toilets like i feel like a dirty barbarian <laughs> whenever i go back to the u.s yeah because yeah. i've i've gotten accustomed to bidets okay I, I can't use a toilet if it if it doesn't have one now yeah um, this makes you feel dirty it's, it's really funny because you're pushing the poo around yeah yeah <laughs> if you don't use it oh man it's it's really funny because yeah. I when I when I first came here uh -huh. like as a as a high school student I was really uncomfortable with using them because yeah. I mean it's a, it's a uncomfortable feeling having yeah, water it's... shot up your butt <laughs> yeah you know basically I mean? yeah um but it's like man once you get used to them it's yeah. like not using them you mm -hmm. feel gross the rest yeah. of the day and yeah. now it's like when I when I go back to the U S and it's like what 
who uses toilet paper? What it, What is this like? The yeah. friggin' peasant era? Yeah. Like, are, are we living in castles and huts? Yeah, yeah. And on that same vein, like another thing that I think is amazing is the um, well, modern day uh, bath si- situation. Yeah. So I actually have to ask, what's your what's your bath situation like in your old apartment? My old apartment. Your, your apartment now. Oh, that's my apartment pretty old. now. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, I mean the toilet, the toilet and the bath are separated, yeah. so I have a room for each of them. Bastori right. bits, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, the so I have the, like the little electronic bath. Okay. Um, it's it's a little it's console an, on the wall. It, yeah, it's an old model, so okay. it's not as sophisticated as yeah. yours. Um, but uh, like, I I don't have to do anything yeah. if I want to take a bath. I just put the plug in and push a button. Yeah. And it knows exactly how much to fill up. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk about that for a bit. That's like amazing. So first of all, with this whole like the the bastori bits, like having a bath, yeah. a toilet, and a bath separate. So like in the states, normally they're all together, right? Mm-hmm. And in Japan, in the cheap places that are really small, they'll have what they call a UB, a universal bath, well, yeah. have, where they'll have the toilet, the sink, and the bath together. Yeah. But it's all smushed together so much that like the sink is kind of covering part of the toilet and covering part bit. of the bath. Yeah. yeah. But then on the other hand, they have these magical devices. Like in mine, right? I have this little touch panel that I can use where I can like heat up the bath to a specific temperature to yeah. a specific level for as long as I want. If it's too cold, I can add more hot water. If yeah. it's too hot, I can add more cold water up to the liter. Yeah. And not just that, I can also, um, like there's a vent at the top so I can put in air conditioning, air heating, or I can even dry really? my clothes in there. Like there's a, there's a place to put a laundry pole up yeah. there. Cause you know, in Japan, they, yeah. they air dry their clothes, right? Oh, man. So that like mine. when it's rainy, I can yeah. just put on the console, the drying setting. I can put my clothes oh. in there and it just dries them. It takes about four or five hours, yeah, but it's still, still that's, yeah, that's so great. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't have that. Those things are you, magical. you also have, don't you have a second, uh, control panel like outside the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. like one thing that really surprised me about Japanese houses is there's a control panel to turn the hot and cold water on yeah. in a lot of houses. And I remember because the first time I visited Natsumi's apartment and um, I had to take a shower, mm-hmm. I didn't know that those existed. <laughs> <laughs> so I turned on the hot water yeah, and it was very cold. It just got blasted and with I was some just ice like, water. I was just like, okay, well, if I run it for a bit, it's going to get warmer. Yeah. No. <laughs> so I run it for about two minutes and it's yeah. not getting warm. So I'm like, yeah. okay, screw this. I'm just going <gasps> to... And I, I clean myself up, and then I come out of the bath. And Natsumi said, "What? You took a you took a shower?" I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "You didn't turn the hot water on?" I was like, "What do you mean?" And she <laughs> looks at me like I'm a caveman. <laughs> She's like, "You push this button." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh it's it's nice. Um, for me specifically, yeah. I mean, I I don't do this anymore. I've I've learned from my past mistakes, but uh, I have um had some really high water bills okay. because sometimes when I, and this is dangerous. I don't yeah. recommend everyone doing this, but I came home drunk a couple times yeah. and it's like, Oh, I want to take a bath before mm-hmm. I go to bed and it'll leave the water on. Yeah. You'll leave the water just, on and you'll, you won't put the, you won't plug it up. So it'll just kind of, yeah, yeah, out. yeah. So, uh, the way, the way the sensor is supposed to work yeah. is I, I want to say it's a weight sensor Yeah, because it, it, it stops when I'm in the bath and it'll yeah. fill up exactly the, the line, mm-hmm. whether or not I'm in the bath or not. Yeah. So if I go in the bath, it'll still, it'll still hit the same watermark. Um, uh, so, but if you don't put the plug in, yeah. it just runs water all night. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, See, mine actually is probably a more updated version because it'll it'll stop it if it senses that it's running out of the drain for too long. Oh, does like, there was a time when I forgot to put the I forgot to plug it up and yeah. it was just kind of running and then yeah. it just stopped and they're like, they were just like, <laughs> was it like you say I'll take or something like that? Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool, so I'll do that. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple times I'll just be like, oh, bath. And then I'll be like, oh, okay, well, this is going to yeah. take five minutes. I'm going to lay down and then fall asleep. <laughs> just just a question, though. Just a question, though. What's up? Does does your bath play a song when it's done mm. <laughs> running? It plays uh, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Really? <laughs> yeah. So when when the bath is ready, it'll be like, dun, 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 dun. Okay, really? please enter the bath now. Really? Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I have like a different song, but it's the same thing. It's like, the bath is prepared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just like. That's totally unnecessary, but totally <laughs> lovely at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. 
but I have to say, like, you know, one thing that I was really surprised moving here about when um when I moved here for the first time was setting up my utilities to get set coming here as someone who's just moved to Japan. Yeah. What was your process like setting up utilities? When I first moved to Japan, yeah. Um it's I I was really surprised no one told me mm-hmm. that I had to set up anything. Mhm. Um, when I when I moved into my my new apartment, I, I was already experienced with it, mm-hmm. so I knew what I had to do. But uh, so when you move into an apartment here, mm-hmm. uh, nothing is turned on. Yeah, there's no. I I shouldn't say that. Some some places will turn on the electricity for mm-hmm. you just because the electricity is ran by the building itself. Yeah, so the electricity will already be on. Um, but uh, gas mm-hmm. and uh, water. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually need, you have to call the water and gas department mm-hmm. and they will come and turn it on for mm-hmm. you. Um, but that was never explained to me. Yeah. I, I, I think it's just because that's just something people here are just expected to yeah. know. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of common sense here. Yeah. Um, but in, in the U S that's not a thing, mm-hmm. you know, you, you rent out an apartment in a building and the, the, the water and gas is attached to the apartment and there's yeah. just a meter that's yeah. connected to your apartment that'll measure how much you're using. Yeah. Um, so yeah, when I first moved here, I went like a uh, better part of a month yeah. without gas. I, I, I went a week without electricity. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then I realized like, oh, okay, this is how you get the electricity yeah. running. I just got to call these people. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. so it was, it, was, it was a learning process. Yeah, it was, it was really strange for me. So this is back in 2013 now, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe the system is different now, but when... When I moved in, Mm -hmm. the day I moved in, I checked my mailbox and I found a water utility form and an electricity utility form and a gas utility form. Yeah. And I see all, I see carbon paper and I see these blocks where I'm supposed to write in my name and my bank information and all these things. And like, I can read Japanese just fine, but there was just so much on this sheet. Yeah. Yeah. And they said, okay, you need to tear on this perforated line and keep this sheet for yourself. And then you need to send this by mail to this place. And you have to give this one to your realtor or something like that, or your landowner or something like that. And I I just didn't know what to do. So I just called my friend over. I took her out to sushi and and the sushi place. We were filling out the forms together. It's really overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And it's funny how it's like you can, um, to pay your utilities, pay your taxes, pay your rent. Yeah. You can use 7-Eleven payments. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to do direct deposit. So, yeah, that's... Um, direct withdrawal. My uh, my building owner is a little strict with rent. Okay. In the sense that she wants me to use the same bank and I have to send a wire transfer from my bank account to hers mm-hmm. every month, which is a huge pain in the yeah, ass. Yeah, so it's not direct. It's not automatic. No, no, she yeah. doesn't want to do direct deposit. I don't know why. It cause co- it because it costs her like four hundred to seven hundred yen per oh, transaction. Is that why? Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's it's really obnoxious because yeah. she's uh, the bank she uses is this local bank. Yeah. That has I'm not even joking. It has three branches. Okay. That's it. Okay. And it's just this this bank in Otaku. Yeah. And um, the bank hours mm-hmm. are Monday to Friday, mm-hmm. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yeah, so you can't go there ever. And it's like, dude, if <laughs> it's it's really obnoxious. Uh, if if I if I miss the Monday mm-hmm. between payday and the so I get paid on uh, 25th mm-hmm. of each month. And there's like usually one Monday between mm-hmm. that and the beginning of the next month. Mm-hmm. And if I miss that Monday, I, I'm late on my rent payment. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not really that big a deal. Yeah, like, yeah. But it's it's annoying because then the apartment company will call and be like, hey, you haven't paid rent. It's like, yeah, yeah well. Yeah, you guys that situation. A bank, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, so like if you live in, if you move into like a newer system, I don't think yeah. that's much of a worry. But if you live in these cheaper, older yes. places. Uh, yeah, I was going to say because. Um, my my original apartment when I moved in here was part of this like big apartment company in Tokyo. Okay, and they they they're they're part of like the Mitsubishi, uh, whatever. Fudosan real estate. Yeah, yeah, they're they're like one of the biggest banks yeah. in Japan, and they're they're really 
okay with whatever. It's like, yeah. yep, just make sure the payment's on time. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Um, and, uh, but yeah, if you, that's something you definitely got to be careful for. Yeah. Um, cause I, this didn't happen to me, but I knew, um, I knew a person who lived in like a more countryside area mm-hmm. and their apartment owner didn't even use banks. Really? You, they, they had to mail in their rent every month really to their to their oyasan wow yeah yeah so oyasan means like oh it's the landlord yeah landlord yeah yeah um so yeah it's it's just something you need to be aware of like if you're getting some of these older places yeah dude yeah speaking about older places let me ask you about your kitchen situation okay do you have like a separate gas stove that was originally part of the unit like what's your what's your cooking situation so so i have i have uh I like like we were talking about earlier. I have one of those like kind of kerosene like yeah. lighter areas that's supposed to be where you're supposed to connect a stove to. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've just said yeah. screw that. I'm gonna use IH. Yeah, so because <laughs> IH is just way more convenient. Yeah, I mean it's it's funny because it's like in um, so in older houses, um, well in the states normally when you move into an apartment, there's an oven and a stove unit yeah. there, right? Yeah. But in Japan. You have to bring if it's it. A, if it's an older unit, there's like there's a there's a counter in the kitchen area. There's a counter with a sink, and then on the other side is like this little dip area, little dip right? area, yeah. and it has like these gas valves on it, yeah. and that's where you're supposed to connect your gas stove yes. to it and turn on the gas valves, and then you have gas cooking. Yeah. And like that was just so foreign to me, but it's like <laughs> I I I can't really imagine like okay, I'm going to move, I'm going to bring my gas stove over, yeah. you know. I mean, now in my my house, because my house is pretty new, we have like a gas stove that's in the the counter area. Oh, really? It's like a part of the counter area, and but that's seen as like something that's luxury, something really nice. All these traditional yeah. houses, you have like these stove appliances that you will put on the counter, yeah, and cook. Yeah. So my my uh, my first apartment was brand new. I was yeah? the first person to ever live in my oh, great. In my apartment. Um, and it had an IH stove that was built in. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just have a question: Why did you move? Because I wanted more space. Okay. Because it was it was me and my ex girlfriend. We were looking for a place to move in okay. together at the time. And um, at the time, I lived in a one DK. Okay. And to be fair, I probably could have lived there with her. Yeah. Um, but it would have been cramped. And so I I I'm st- I'm American. Yeah. I like my space. Yeah, dude. I. I don't I don't like having rooms that have shared purposes. That's okay. that's a real big thing for me. Yeah. I like having a a bedroom where yeah. I go sleep in and I like having like a work and play room. Yeah. That's very American. You know of what you. I mean? <laughs> it is very American. Yeah, yeah, it's it totally is. Yeah. When I first moved in with Natsumi and we got married, yeah. um we moved into a 1K. Whew. So what that means yeah. is that there's this really narrow corridor by the entrance of the apartment which is where the kitchen is. Yep. And then you have this one room that was probably about half the size of this room. And it had <laughs> it had a loft, which had about a four foot clearance between the loft floor and the roof. Yeah. And so that's where we would sleep. You know, it's funny because you is a, my my girlfriend's apartment is exactly yeah. the same way. And yeah. it's, it is very cramped. It is very cramped yes. for sure. But yeah. that was two of us living there for almost two years. Oh my! I God. had no money. It was eight hundred bucks a month. You guys not murder each other. We almost did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. We almost did. I believe it, man. Because I I would go insane yeah. if I had to move in and live at her apartment. Yeah. It's it's even as living as one person, yeah. I I would just feel very cramped all the time yeah you get you claustrophobic this, yeah you have this one room that's multi-purpose but especially if you live in japan though that's especially if you live in tokyo it's the norm yeah yeah right very like much like the fact that you're living in a 2dk um if what what's the nearest station near you again magome uh so i've got a couple i'm i'm the jr stations omori station okay and then i have magome and nishi magome okay okay yeah. yeah so i mean if that's the case right so like like if you were to have like an updated house with the amount of square footage you have it'd be so expensive oh outrageously expensive. yeah 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 but the fact that your house is so old yeah it works out but still man yeah. like the fact that you can have one room for this one room for that is a big luxury like i have that here too and i'm yeah. very lucky but my yeah. rent's also ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually, uh, I'm planning on moving again next winter. 
Oh, really? So yes. like, so what kind of a place are you looking for? So probably about the same size. Okay. Um, but I think we're gonna move out of. Well, I don't know. We're we're still kind of in negotiation process of, because the the problem is is both of our works mm-hmm. are like the opposite ends of Tokyo. Mm-hmm. So she she works up in Kichijoji. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of, that's kind of like North Tokyo. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I work in Minotoku, which is mm-hmm. like literally the center of Tokyo, but it's kind of more South. Yeah. Um, and they're v- like about an hour apart by yeah. train. And so, uh, we're, like I said, we're in this negotiation process you, where we're both kind of trying to figure out, do you know what I'm going to say? I want to live in Kanagawa. You should live but, here, dude, because yeah. you can take one train yeah. to get to where you go. And it's about 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. You can take one train to get to Kichijoji. Yeah. Well, no, you technically have to go to Tachikawa and then you switch to Kichijoji, but that's still pretty close. And that's going to be like 40 minutes. Yeah. Just move here. We'll be neighbors. Yeah, that would be, yeah. you know it's actually kind of funny because I got I have a lot of friends who live yeah. in Kawasaki. Yeah. So yeah, this this actually would be a pretty nice place to live. Yeah. But it's also like you said, very expensive. Yeah. But I'll just live in Shin Marco, and I won't lie about it. I sh- <laughs> no, 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 no. When I so when I when I, no, 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 no. When I when I live when I tell people in Japan that I live in. I live in this area. <laughs> yeah, I tell yeah. them I live in Kawasaki because it sounds cheaper. If I tell them I live in Musashi Kosugi or Shin Marco, they're like, oh. You rich man. <laughs> so like I, I have to be careful with that. Yeah. But anyways, dude, I think this is good for we've been talking for a good amount for this. Yeah, topic. yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. That was fun. We still have to finish we have less than half left. We gotta save that for the next topic. We'll polish it off. Yeah, we will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. See you later, man.